Greetings everyone, Ajon here, another Company Rose 2 replay. Spot on the left side as the British player, we have GB Pirate. Or wait, nope. That's the whole thing where the bugged up color is game. So that's CX. And his teammate as a US player, we have GB Pirate. So on the right side as the OKW player, we have Brainlet.exe. And for the Vermock player, we have Banks33. We do have, looks like an MG42, looks like there is the infantry company, so he's getting out some grenadiers in an MG42 over here. Looks like we've got uh, Volks grenadiers into another squad of Volks grenadiers. On the left side, we've got these infantry section capture the standard point, who's going for infantry section to infantry section, and getting a bit of manpower sword on up, going for a Vickers, not for a uh, universal carrier. And for teammate, we just have rifleman to rifleman. Oh, here, MG42 inside this building here. He's going to be perhaps a little bit defensive. It's a good hard point there, that's for sure. It doesn't cover up the entire VP, but it does cover up most of it. Grandier is heading towards the center of the map. And over here, we do have the Strom Pioneer switching the way forward. Volks Grandier capturing up uh, this point. Sorry, I see a bug crawling on my wall. It looks like a tiny little spider. Supply hub is ready for orders. Grand Ears are trying to capture the point, not push towards this heavy cover just yet. This heavy cover would be a great hard point there from the gauge. Rifleman pushing along the left flank. Doesn't receive any bursts there. Does send a burst there. Very nice. And we're also going to make making towards the heavy cover now. Pioneers are sort of trying to save the flank. There's some also intersection here, so he could get overran by his opponent. Volkswagen are trying to build some heavy cover there, but it was unsuccessful. The squad here needs to stop building the sandbags as well. Vermach Mortar has been deployed on out. Pioneers are to stick to the heavy cover, just trying to stall out his opponent best he can. He does have spotted sandbags there, so he has gone for the Urban Assault Company, which doesn't allow him to build sandbags. It's probably just from these uh, rear ash. Who uh, actually build those sandbags? It must have been from the infantry section. Because rear echelon can't build sandbags, nor can riflemen, unless there's a doctrine for it. A good hit there. There's two Wehrmacht uh, mortars been deployed on out. So that's a lot of mortars. And he's another squad of Grenadiers. He's, he can get overran quite easily. Good suppression coming out. If he continue to hit the squad, could potentially do AoE suppression on this squad there. Wehrmacht mortars needs to do a barrage onto this squad that's not suppressed. Where's the Volks Grenadier? He needs... He only has two squads of Volks as well. He's gone for Fear Storm. He's already targeting those uh, riflemen. It's quite low in health. He does fall back with both those intersections there. Very nice. Also, the Verimach player managed to hold his position. It still needs more forces. And something I noticed as well. He's gone for the... The uh, Massacre Bulletin. This will allow his Pintle... The uh, whole mounted machine gun to provide suppression. So it's a it's more and more transformative bulletins, but it could be quite useful. HQ operations now underway. So pioneers to get inside this building here. There's four windows on the side. This all gamma bomb. He does dodge it, but it is wounded. Decides to fall back nice and early. And that officer is quite wounded as well. Stick to the heavy cover and he's able to displace it. No problem. No need to throw an incendiary grenade. Especially when his teammates mortis can always pitch in some fire. He does have to worry about worry about a gammon bomb, but that's about it. Stick to the heavy cover and he'll be just fine. 
captain has been deployed on out. Let's see, has he gone for any? Yep, he's going for a rifle grenade upgrade on the rear echelons. And now the Wehrmacht player, uh, the Austria, the OKW player, blah, is deploying on an MG34 of his own. And he does have enough fuel for a sheer panzer quarter. I have a feeling that he may want to deploy that one out. Based on how he's sort of saving up manpower. Those are on Cindy Grenade there, but he needs a fallback. He's in from being wiped. Even now, he still can potentially be wiped. Ooh. Good mortar hits there, and then Cindy Grenade wipes out two squads. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Grenadiers needs uh, medics. Those throw a rifle grenade there. And those mortar hits were quite deadly. Likes also throwing shot there. Pounds of Grenadiers have been deployed on out. We've got an M15 half track coming on out. Rifle grenade does get some damage there. Bundle grenade does get dodged. The Vermont player needs to play on mid bunker. He hasn't already got it. Rifle grenade does was pretty good. Like was pretty good. Mortars are raining on in as well. We do got an Opal Blitz to blow down out, which does provide healing like an ambulance. Does hop inside the truck, which will save him from being suppressed. Very nice. Now he can just drive on forward and, disp and drop him out on the other side. And that thing's actually not taking any sort of damage. Is it bullet? I didn't think it was bulletproof. No! It's not the fact that it wasn't bulletproof. It was actually hitting hitting the uh, Sturm Pioneers. That's what was going on. I think. Unless I'm mistaken. Storm Pioneers are seeing quite a bit of fire. He needs to fall back. With fewer Storm, he's also can't avoid... Uh, he actually does have Battle Group HQ, so... He does have multiple source of healings now. Lag maybe want to eye a barrage on top of the M15 in order to get some damage in, but he needs the Kenwerfer. The Kenwerfer is on the build queue. No Panzer Strike on the build queue either, and he hasn't used the healing ability yet, even though he needs guys healed up. Panzer Strikes are, have been deployed on out by the Panzer Grenadiers. But all these forces are severely wounded. He needs to fall back to the squad. We do got a half track deployed on out. He could drop. He needs to yeah, drop off the grenadiers, get it close. Panzer grenadiers have also been deployed on out. The Kenwerfer still pretty far away from the front line. Good pressure coming there. Rifle grenades are hitting the MG42, but there's forward reinforcements here. Lots of forward reinforcements. He's going to try to charge on forward, trying to deploy out uh, Panzerfaust and Panzer Shrex. Or maybe not. Multiple good hits there. No Panzerfaust just yet. He does spot this cache being deployed on now by these uh, uh, Royal Engineers. Vickers are sitting on up, but he will get suppression off on the Panzer Grenadiers, but he's going to throw a bundle grenade in before that point. Doesn't fully wipe the squad, but does force him back. So far, this game's actually been quite crazy, honestly. This area is largely... Giant flank is open here. Landmines, shoe mines have been deployed right there. 
It's always a good idea to Q move after you build a landmine so you don't stand right there because that, if he was paying attention, he would know there's a shoe mine there. Commando's being deployed on out. You remember, he lost both of his infantry section squads. And it looks like he has two Vickers. He needs to deploy out some medics. These mortars, they didn't get saved by that landmine, but that rifle grenade could do some good work there. Half-track did receive a shot there. I think it was actually a widespread that actually got the hit. It was rifle grenade does roll and miss there. Mortars are doing a full retreat there. Have to be very careful with those commandos. Panzer Grenadiers do have Metro C1, so they do have increased movement speed. Could throw a bundle grenade, that's his only chance. Throws a bundle grenade, close range. That's gonna be deadly. Could have been actually a little bit worse. Oh, these guys are severely wounded. No med bunker actually yet. Sure, the half track can provide some healing, but we have the garrison inside of it. Second Vikander Warfare has been deployed out by Magenta. And smoke barrage coming on to that Vickers last known location. Over on the left side, we got Shroom Pioneers kept with the VP. Vickers not in the correct position to stop them. And we got an MP40 upgrade on the Volks Grenadiers. Good hit there. This Vicar is severely wounded. He does not have medics. Uh, the bird does not have medics just yet either. Next round will wipe out that Vickers, if not the units. It does get fully wiped there. Does he have a? Uh, he's trying to demolition destruct. Is he? I think he's just trying to get rid of the line of sight blockers. Unless he's trying to deploy out a uh, Bofors. Let's I see here the Carmel. The Carmel is pushing its way forward. No Bofors nor AEC research. Has hold fire, stay on. Does take out the half of the Opal Blitz. Does get a Panzer Faust off, but not an engine damage. Good hit there as well. He does have the Battle Group HQ, so he does still have healing at home. He's getting a Flame Hetzer out on the field as well. He does have two Vikan Warfers, so that could be very useful in fighting against all the infantry. Good hits there. And Mortars are still getting some good damage in. May see incendiary rounds there. Nope, it does get suppressed. MG42 is falling on back. Mortars are severely wounded and need to fall back as well. And we do have a Oswin coming on out. Oswin, of course, does buy anti infantry. One person getting a flame head, sir, the other one getting Oswin. That's a lot of anti infantry. They do have two Vikander Warfers and one set of Panzer Rex. They actually got abandoned right there and then got gunned down, killing it. Commandos charging forward, getting some great damage there. Almost got the wipe there on the... What's it called? The, uh... Shroom Pioneers. Rope, oh, rifle grenade thrown? Yep, rifle grenade thrown by the Grandiers. Goes out Gamma Bomb. He does sprint out of there. Very nice. You don't see sprint all too often, but with Ambush Camouflage, you also get sprint. 
And we got all doctrines have been locked in. Fear Sturm. Encirclement. Ooh, that could be quite fun. Urban Assault and Commandos. One thing we have to take note as well, we need to take a look and see about Close the Pocket. How effective good this map is for Close the Pocket? Eh, potentially, there's some cutoff points that could be useful if you want to cut off uh, Close the Pocket on one half the map. But these MP40s are getting ripped apart by the Cromwell. Oof, that squad needs to fall back. Uh, the Gantt Warfare needs to start firing as well. Good hit there. Over here, Oswin pushes his way forward. We may see some suppression coming out by the Pinto Mount, but he's currently dancing around. Hets are getting, receiving some hits. May see a wipe there, just needs perhaps one good shot. The road is... Nope, does not get the shot off. Jackson being deployed on out, which would be a good item versus these uh, armored assets. Maybe a good idea to deploy out Bunker or MG42 up here, just to keep this sector secure. But yeah, if we take another look at the mini-map, you can see here this point that he's decapturing, which is right where this Pioneer is, is a good cutoff point to cut off multiple sectors of the map. But over here, you need to take out this cache in order for it to be a cutoff point. So yep, those two points are the cutoff points. There's a pack house or deployed on the field. Pioneer's gunning up the uh, glider. And that's a squad wipe. Though it was just only a pioneer squad. Minor loss. He is going to rebuild his pioneer squad. He needs repairs for his half track. Which is loaded up with infantry units, which is not a good idea. Jackson's pushing his way forward. Incendiary Mortar, effective versus the Glider. The enemy have destroyed a forward position. Two Cromwells now pushing their way forward. Has prioritized fire on. And there is a shoe mine there. There is this half track he's been using healing. But the Cromwell does go, or the, the Osman does go down. And good hits there. And the half track himself does go down as well. Karma will stay alive. Jackson's still alive. Shoe mine is has been swept. Though you may not realize actually it's still there. It can be a bit hard to see, especially with all the chaos and debris. Enemy movement! On flank. Flame Panzer Hetzler is half. Uh, wounded. Half health. Cromwell and Jackson can still take it out. One shot and then it's down. The Churchill can... Nope, the Cromwell... So it's plenty of health. There's two Vikander Warfers here. Depending where the shots go, he's sprinting on forward. He's, if both Panzerstrucks fire and get the hit, he may need to force fire the ground. It's actually potentially some Grand Theft Auto right here. Get some good hits there. Another Osman being deployed on out. He needs a pack 40. Perhaps another Grenadier of Pounds of Grenadiers. Or this could keep Stormtroopers hidden. Ooh, looks like he claim a free Vicar is very nice. And the Vicar Warfare will be falling on back. Yag Pounds of 4 has been deployed on out. Good idea. Good hit there. Ready, ready. 
first squad of commandos coming on board. Still no medic, though he could perhaps get out of the ambulance, drop the medics off, and then put another squad inside and run the medic or the ambulance. Final grenade was thrown, but does not dodge it in time. And good grenade there from the rifle grenades. Gambon does roll a miss there. Karma is a bit wounded. He can withstand two shots before going down. I think so. I think that's a little bit higher than just 25% health. Oh, sounds like a major already. We do got a pair, pair of pack forwards being deployed on out, which will be very effective versus, uh, won't be very effective when the Calliope finally shows up. And going for a regular Sherman tank, at this point, Calliope will probably be really good because he sees all the mortars, he sees all the AT guns. There's a lot of good stationary weapons for that Calliope. Was a Calliope? Looks like Sherman tank was canceled. Going straight for the Calliope. Good idea. Right from making the advance, Hulk's Grenadiers can be gunned down from the distance. And we've got the IR half track that have been deployed on now. Carmel making his advance. We've got a fresh Opal Blitz cargo truck. Lighting to think here, Calliope, good targets in this region, that's for sure. Oof, good hit there, and now here comes some Major RD or something. Nope, it's uh, his teammate's uh, White Phosphorus, Mortar Cover. And here comes Mortar Cover with White Phosphorus, and... Ooh, that's just a lot of explosions. So we have the white phosphorus uh, smoke plus the Calliope barrage did a significant amount of damage. Two good hits there onto the Cromwell. Ooh, and it was on top of a landmine and the landmine got detonated. That was that shoe mine we saw earlier. Reshlon do go down. I don't know why that reaction thing looks like I was retreating at full speed. Rive grenade fired. Get some good damage there onto the Grenadiers. Grenadiers need to fall back. They're way too wounded. And it actually has a full retreat being activated right there. Major artillery being rained on in as well. Magenta Patrol called an aircraft. Carmo charging on forward. No anti tank. These guys are facing the wrong angle. Pack Ford is setting on up now. Two good hits there, multiple good hits there, and uh, Yagpanzer does claim the kill. Opal Blitz pushing his way forward or putting his way backwards. Pack 40 was uh, tr trying to engage that Jackson. The Jagdpanzer Forest is staying quite a bit of fire. Do you have more reconnaissance aircraft sweeps? I saw a magenta aircraft flying over. What actually called? Oh yeah, the uh, 
IR half track can uh, call an uh, recon run, recon strafe. And here comes the artillery, the uh, air supremacy operation, but the Oswin is in the area, so can shoot down those aircraft, but it's a single strafing bombing run. Does, ooh, decrease both of those. And the MG does not go down. Destroy one of the AT guns entirely. Grandiers. Try and get some good damage in. Good in Molotov there. And the MG34 will just continue to stay in the re area and suppress using suppressive fire. We do have stormtroopers charging forward, trying to decapture this point. Not realizing that he's actually trying to go for close the pocket. This area is cut on off. He needs if he does close the pocket now. Oh, does destroy that one. He needs to go uh, break the supply lines. We're going to see a full close the pocket. Before we capture this point, needs to retreat back. There's nothing more we can do with that. And now here comes close the pocket. Not sure if the mortar pit will get hit, but we do got a close the pocket over here. Nobody expects to close the pocket. The firefly could go down. This is not getting hit. has been lost to enemy action. But these frontline sectors, the uh, commando should actually stay hidden. Though I think it may be a target action, not an overwatch here, action. Because the target action points. may actually get targeted. There's going to be some substantial artillery raining on in this sector. The Oswin needs to be very careful. Oswin may actually get the kill there. Commandos are not getting targeted, nor is the mortar pit. Not a spectacular uh, close of pocket, but did destroy our Firefly, so worth. The enemy have and the commando staying camouflage there is allowing them to keep this point secured and actually potentially get a wipe. Wasn't chasing him down. The Sturm Pioneers can do an A move and engage the commandos from long range. Calio Barrage running in the sector, very nice. The Yagpons are severely wounded. Good hits there. Looks like a uh, mortar cover raining on in. Ow, the mortar cover and mortar has actually come down really quickly. Oswin severely wounded, needs to fall back. No pants tactician. And now got a fresh squad of uh, Royal Engineers coming on the build queue. He needs to get some repairs. The previous set may have went down from close the pocket. We do got the Vickers setting on up. We do got the Commandos engaging as well. It does throw a stun grenade. The stun grenades do not affect the actual gun itself. It prevents a bug where if they get decrewed while that's afflicted, it won't completely break the gun. Flame Panzer Hetzler being deployed. As well as a SWFS half track. The Axis players, even with that close a pocket, they don't actually have a whole lot of tickets remaining. I thought this game would go on for. Our... This game is almost over if they don't uh, win or fight better. I would assume the close a pocket would be like, yep. We're going to have a very good advantage for the time being, but no, they did, they did not. We have fallen to 25 points. Task complete. Commandos camouflaging forward and just keep them camouflaged. Artillery support is on its way. Looks like it does get spotted. 
because he threw a gamma bomb top of the IR half track. And blitzing him forward, he's using the uh, breakthrough, which does have rapid decapture. Very, very good usage of that. Grandiers need to push on forward as well. They will capture the central VP, but they don't have a whole lot of tickets remaining. And so far, that pint, that uh, whole mountain machine gun hasn't really provided a whole lot of suppression. It doesn't really provide great suppression. At this point, we'll likely get decaptured. We've got the rocket barrage raining on in, trying to stop the capture of people. They will maintain the central VP, but they won't be able to maintain this point, though the mortars and lag may do some good work there. Mortar covers engaging these, uh, the Kenner Warfors are severely wounded. Flame heads are pushing his way forward. We got some Thompson equipped Rangers actually out on the field as well. Decrease both these AT guns. Sherman tank has been deployed out as well. We got some smoke from the rear echelon. Very nice. Good hits. Oswin does go down. Jagdpanzer and Hetzer severely wounded. And that's game. Holy crap. Only if I did a better job casting, I feel like I'm scatterbrained the entire game. What would I have I done differently? Close the pocket was pretty good. Took out a Firefly, but didn't spot the stealth commandos. Axis players had some really early good victories. Like killing off both those infantry sections. Could have potentially overran this point, but they were unable to. What would I do differently? The Axis, the Verrock player, he didn't deploy a med bunker the entire game. He was using the half track for healing, which is great, but it's a lot of uh, time and effort for doing it when you could just deploy a med bunker at home. I would say he should have deployed a med bunker at home. The OKW player, did overall a pretty good job. Yeah, other than that, I really don't know what else to say. This is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.